Did you know there was a time when driving at night wasn't very common? Way back, roads were often just dirt tracks and cars would break down easily. This made nighttime travel difficult without any light. But then headlights came along as an amazing invention to brighten up the path ahead, making it much safer for people to drive after dark. So why not check out how they've developed over time? The first car headlights appeared in the late 1880s and used either acetylene gas or oil to work. Back then, these headlights were just flames burning behind glass, much like the home lamps of that era. Acetylene lamps had two main parts. One part held solid carbide at the bottom, while water was kept above it. When the water drips onto the carbide, they react chemically to produce a flammable gas called acetylene. This gas travels through a pipe to where it could be lit up into a bright light. A special valve controlled how quickly water would drip down so you could adjust how much light you'd get from this reaction. A design completed with mirrors placed behind each flame focused its glow ahead on roads for clearer nighttime drives. While they were creative for their time, the first car headlights had a lot of problems. They didn't really focus well on the road and mostly scattered up into the night sky. Another issue was that caustic lime would build up inside from burning acetylene gas, so it often had to be cleaned out. Plus, handling this type of gas wasn't very safe since it could catch fire easily or react unexpectedly. By 1904, some car makers started including cylinders with pressed oil calcium carbide generators for lighting. Even though these acetylene lamps weren't perfect solutions by any means, they surprisingly got things done until electric headlights took over about 10 years later. The journey of electric headlights began back in 1898. It started when a company working on electric cars introduced some early models. Fast forward to 1904 and an American car maker called Peerless became a pioneer by putting these lights on all their vehicles. By 1908, another breakthrough came from a British business named Pockley Automobile Electric Lighting. They sold complete sets with not just headlights, but also taillights and side lights powered by an 8-volt battery. Despite this progress, there were still big hurdles at first, like how quickly light bulbs burned out or not holding up well under tough conditions. Car makers had difficulty designing effective dynamo systems compact enough for cars, yet strong enough to keep those early bulbs shining bright. But in 1912, Cadillac changed the game by introducing a groundbreaking electric system for cars. The Cadillac Model 30 was the first to have this setup, which included headlights that worked well even in rain or snow and started with an electric switch instead of needing a hand crank. This new technology made driving easier while offering a better travel range. Once car headlights switched to electric power, companies started looking for ways to make them brighter. By the 1910s, it was clear that just putting a mirror behind the light wasn't enough anymore. Engineers tried adding special designs straight onto the headlight glass. This idea came from other areas like lighthouses, where they used similar techniques. Adding these smart ideas into car lights made driving at night safer. Sealed beam lights were introduced in 1939 and became a requirement for all cars in the US from 1940 to 1983. They featured a parabolic reflector, lens, and filament in close together to deliver brighter and more focused illumination. However, they weren't perfect. Early versions consumed lots of power while emitting limited light. Moreover, the hot filaments sometimes left dark stains on the glass that further dimmed their output. But sealed beam headlights had a big plus. They kept water out, so rain or washing didn't affect the light. This helped the light stay clear and bright. But if one bulb got damaged in this setup, you had to replace the whole headlight unit. To fix these problems, car makers came up with better ideas that led to halogen headlights, which last longer and work even better. In 1962, a group of companies from France, Germany, and Italy came together to create the first car halogen lamps. These new lights were brighter and lasted longer because of a special reaction between halogen gas and tungsten. This improvement made it much easier for drivers to see at night, especially when using high beams. Halogen bulbs are the most traditional and popular choice for car headlights. They work by using a thin tungsten wire with halogen gas in a durable glass capsule. When you switch them on, electricity heats the tungsten to about 2,500 degrees Celsius, making it glow brightly with light that often appears yellowish-blue due to its mix of heat and gases. Halogen headlights were popular but had two main downsides. They didn't last as long as drivers hoped, and their light range wasn't great. They gave off a slightly yellowish glow measured at about 3,000 Kelvin on the color scale. Some companies offered brighter options with higher Kelvin ratings that weren't always allowed for use on roads. People looking for wider lights with longer reach often went for other types of headlights instead. These limitations led to the development of xenon or HID or high-intensity discharge headlights, 
which lasted longer and worked better overall. Instead of using just a single wire, xenon lights had a container made from quartz with electrodes on each end and filled with xenon gas. When turned on, electricity flowed through the container, creating a spark that charged up the gas and allowed the current to move between the two ends. They commonly used this type of light along with various salts called metal halide salts. This mixture would brighten when an electric arc ran through it, heating everything up together. Once the power reached a certain level, something called a ballast kicked in to keep the flow steady. Xenon headlights lasted about five times longer than halogen ones because they needed less energy. These lights give off colors ranging from 4000 to 6000 Kelvin, resulting in a crisp white glow that makes cars look high-end. However, because they took a few seconds to reach their brightest point, HID lights weren't suitable for separate high beams, which needed instant activation. Most vehicles with HID lamps used halogen bulbs for the high beam function, while some more expensive models came with bi-xenon lamps instead. Bi-xenon lamps used HID lighting for everything. When the low beams were on, a mechanical shutter cut down some of the light. Once you switched to high beams, this shutter lifted to let all the light shine through. HID headlights were much more powerful and brighter than regular halogen ones, shining a light about 200 to 250 meters ahead. However, they were expensive and complicated. They needed some time to warm up before reaching full brightness, and their white color often turned bluish as they got older. These lights also weren't as durable compared to LEDs. Because of these issues, xenon lights didn't last long on the market. People quickly started using LEDs instead because they performed better, lasted longer, and were more reliable. LED bulbs light up through a process called electroluminescence. In simple terms, electrons move towards positively charged gaps in the bulb's semiconductor and create light as they go by. This is how we get those bright photons or bits of light. LEDs need very little energy to keep going and last for a really long time compared to traditional bulbs. LEDs are simple to operate. They light up instantly and barely heat up at all. They ended up being the most energy-saving lighting choice, creating bright illumination much better than halogen or xenon lights. These headlights can shine as far as 300 meters and often appear in luxury cars because different designs became possible with LEDs. These lights were used for things like indicator signals, brake and tail lights, as well as inside lighting and more. Interestingly enough, LEDs weren't around until 2004 when Audi introduced them with their A8 model. Like many new technologies, the first versions of LEDs didn't always perform consistently. As they got better over time, these LEDs could be made to shine any color you want, even a bright white light that lit up nearly a mile ahead without dazzling drivers coming from the opposite direction. Adaptive headlights use LED bulbs, but they can turn with your steering wheel. This means better visibility at night or when it's hard to see, especially around curves and corners. With a smart feature, you'll have fewer blind spots and a safer drive overall. A car with adaptive headlights uses electronic sensors to keep track of a few things, how fast you're driving, the angle you've turned the steering wheel, and how much the car is rotating around its center. By checking these factors, adaptive headlights can adjust their aim based on where your vehicle is headed and help light up curves in advance. These sensors manage small motors inside each headlight so they can swivel. Typically, an adaptive headlight moves about 15 degrees from side to side, overall totaling a movement range of 30 degrees. One of the first cars to have adaptive headlights was the Tucker 48, or Tucker Torpedo. Created by Preston Tucker in the late 1940s, who once worked as a policeman, the car stood out for its forward-thinking design but never made it to mass production. A key feature was its third headlight in the middle, known as the Cyclops Eye. This light moved with the steering wheel and helped drivers see better when turning corners at night. Matrix headlights use several small LED lights that work together in one headlight for better control of the light beam's shape and direction. Often called smart or pixel lights, these headlights have cameras and sensors that notice cars coming towards you. When another vehicle is detected ahead, the system automatically changes your beams so they don't blind other drivers while keeping things bright enough for you to see clearly. No need to manually switch between high and low beams as it's all done automatically. Additionally, Matrix headlights can smartly dim or turn off certain parts of their light to make different patterns. This helps them adjust smoothly to city streets, highways, and bends without blinding other drivers on the road. While most cars still use LED and halogen lights, laser technology is becoming a hot new option. These advanced laser headlights offer great visibility and top-notch efficiency. They work by using one or more tiny lasers to shine blue light onto a mirror, which then directs it into an area containing yellow phosphorus gas. The meeting of this gas with the blue light creates super bright white light. 
Laser headlights produce incredibly bright white light, but right now they're mostly found in a few high-tech prototypes and cars like the BMW i8. These lights are super compact, which makes them easy to fit into new car designs. Compared to LEDs, laser headlights use half as much power while being up to four times brighter with double the range so drivers can see way farther down the road. Plus, they shine at about 6,500 Kelvin, close to natural daylight, which is an added benefit for clear visibility. That's a wrap for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like the video and share your thoughts in the comments below.